Hi, I'm Austin. I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. Mmm, badly. Yes, welcome back to Persona 3 Reload, where uh, last time we were just doing normal everyday stuff when suddenly we learned that Chidori uh, was no longer at the hospital and Jupei ran off. And now we gotta go after him. Or something like that. We must chase down a thousand birds. That's right. So it is the dark hour, and we're going to go see what's going on. If this yep. is your first time here with us, welcome. We are a silly bunch, and we hope you enjoy our antics. If you would like to see uh, the entirety of Persona 3 from our first episode, you can check the top right-hand corner. We got a card for the playlist uh, for your perusal. And if you're just like, ah, screw narrative, I just want to hang out, you're welcome to do that too. Welcome aboard. Let's go. Luca, let's go. Are you ready? Mint's operation. Let's get going. Meeting her at Tartarus. All right. Shidori, what's going on? Talk to me. <sighs> Doing this doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know I'm not that smart, and I've done a lot of stupid things. This, this is wrong. We shouldn't be fighting each other. Jinpei Kun, look out! Oh, there. Hey, oh, that was close. You could have killed someone there. Chidori, why? Get back, Jinpei. Talking won't solve anything now. It's too dangerous! I know how you feel, Jinpei-kun, but please, just back up! You got a hookshot axe. Medea. Mm -hmm. Medea. This is the first time we'll actually get a good look at her. Yep. This isn't where I belong. I've known that from the start. Jinori! What the hell's gotten into you? Get ready. Medea. Pretty good hit. So, in case it isn't obvious, Medea drains fire. What's do not next? use fire. What to do? You can use anything else, though. Hmm. Just looking at my options here. Yeah, if you can continue to drain or at least resist fire, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um. Okay. Medea has no weakness, so. That's fine. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to go about this. We'll do. Uh, that. Yeah, Thank I think Fizz good. is a good idea. One um. step at a time. Yeah. There we go. I have to do this. I won't lose. Top everybody off. Much obliged. Ah, yes. The other thing we did get to do the last, the last episode of the little episode before that. Who's last episode? Is uh, unlock My the new move. awakened personas for both Mitsuru and Yukari, which What's I'm noticing plan? now that the urge gauge is not actually building up here. I find that interesting. Yep. Go, Artemisia. Uh, Takaya was right. You're all just a nuisance. Rude. In bad shape. She hits pretty hard. Yeah, apparently. All right. Um. Definitely want to get rid of confused there. Yeah, where's my put it down? I suppose. Here we go. Guess what the doctor ordered. Now's the time. I yeah, I see this. Hmm. Yeah. 
Restore HP to all. Yep. Uh, I'll use yeah. this. You're the best. Thanks. There we go. This pain is nothing compared to the suffering I'm feeling inside. Well, we'd love to help you if you, though, just open up. I don't Free of life. Wow. All right. It's a big heal. Sure is. I'll go with. Uh, that, that is alright. I'll take care of this. Let's do it! Caesar! Alright. Um I won't lose. Although I don't suppose that matters as much for this one. What's the plan here? Persona! Hey, we'll do some boofa dying. Yeah, there we go. Why? Why won't you leave me alone? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Jupe. Chidori. Jupe is just kind of hanging out in the back of our ranks at the moment. Yeah. Well, because he doesn't want to attack her. Right. She's got a very interesting Let's weapon. Work. Yes, she does. Persona! No! I have to do this. Isis! Just keep your bite topped off. Oh, I should've done them. Target. Yeah, Thank hers was you. lower, but I should've done both. That's okay. Yeah, it'll be alright. What's the plan here? Go! Artemisia! Yeah. <laughs> Attack reverted. <laughs> I'm assuming this is a scripted dialogue about. I believe that's correct. Yeah, yes. there we go. Number of rounds required. Chidori! I told you. Don't touch me. You just called his name. Chidori, please. Tell me why you're doing this. What I fear most isn't death. What I fear most is attachment. When I do, I become horrified by the thought of loss. My possessions, my life, everything. That's why we only ever live for the moment. But you, Junpei, you brought me pain I never wanted. What? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear my time with you will end. That's why I... Chidori. That sense. What is it? It's the others from Straka. Oh, hey, guys. How did they... Bastards. You just don't know when to give up. <sighs> I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it. Chidori, I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean, you freaking ghost? Ha! I am no ghost. Fate simply permitted me to live despite my detachment to life. You might say I was chosen. Bastard! That's it! I'm not letting you do this to her anymore! I'll protect Chidori with my life! Junpei... Chidori, come with me! Don't stay with these guys! Hmm. Junpei, look out! Hey. No! Huh? Hmm. 
Interesting. I'm so glad you're awake. Chidori? Uh-huh. I thought I was. I guess I was wrong. My fear, my heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I, I realized what I wanted. And... what's that? I... want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. Is this really happening? I, I don't know. That's <laughs> what I'm that's what I'm wondering too. It's it's very I, I want to be with you too. But it could never last. And it breaks my heart. We are different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chidori. This feels like That's an internal I, thing. This is for the best. Like a vision you he's can't having. Die here, Junpei. Right. Me? Die? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she going to give up her power to heal him? She brought him back from the dead? But wait, if she goes as far as completely reviving someone, the cost for that would be... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Chidori! <sighs> so it worked. I can hear you. The sound of your beating heart. But dumb, but dumb. That's all I needed to know. Now I can go on living in you. I'll always be with you. Huh? Hey, Chidori! Stay with me! What the hell are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. But don't worry. I'll protect you, Junpei. Always. Yeah, same. I've got your back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on. <sighs> this might be all I ever needed. Just being in each other's arms. It's nice. Chidori! Pitiful. Such a meaningless end. I don't need you guys to quit making me feel things every <laughs> couple episodes. The feels. We're on the feels train on this game. Yeah, we are. I mean, it's only it's it was only a matter of time. Mm -hmm. It's been set off by Shinjiro and all the changes that have happened since then. 
Yep. All right, I'm gonna need you to shut up, Crelly and Light. <laughs> Meaningless. Hmm. I think Junpei will awaken his persona. Yes. Okay, I was about to ask if you think Medea and Hermes would merge. Yeah, they fuse and uh That's very fitting. Mm-hmm. The resolution in Junpei's heart has awakened a new persona. Became one with Chidori's persona Medea. Trismegistus. <laughs> How does this keep happening? <laughs> Medea? So, for context viewers, we're playing Lies of P, which has Trismegistus in it. Right. Oh my god, how did, how did we manage to do that? With three I don't different know. Games. Three different games, Dan. We managed to yep. do this. They're all connected. Ah. Oh my gosh. That is a cool persona. It is. My, that was quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to respond in kind. Takaya, don't! Don't forget about your mission. You don't gotta waste any more time on him. Hmm. I have a much greater purpose to fulfill. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. Smoke bomb? Yeah. Get back here! Junpei! Let me go! I'll... She entrusted you with this life! Don't just throw it away. Chidori. Chidori. I... I... Oh, God, this is so hard. But it's not just my life anymore. Junpei. Everyone was silent as we walked back to the dorm together. No one could find the right words to say to Junpei. I mean... What can you say? Mm-hmm. That was weird. <laughs> game was like, I'm gonna think about that for a second. It's taking its time. Yep. Today is Labor Thanksgiving Day. There's no school. Mm. We have a new burger! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wild emotions. Yeah. We have a new burger! Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, so let's, oh, man, I, I want to unpack this more, and I think we're going to have to during our next Tartars run, because yeah. if my understanding of Medea is correct, the merger of Medea and Hermes is very poignant as personas, yep. but mm -hmm. also because of what it can represent for Junpei as well. Yep. So I, I'm yeah. looking forward to we'll, unpacking we'll, that uh, with some of the other stuff that we plan on talking about on our next we'll, Yeah, we'll take some time to prepare and unpack that whole thing. Uh, Medea does, as a figure, have healing powers, which I think we covered before. Right. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going to be going over that uh, with, with Hermes as well. That'll be... Uh, Junpei has the most unique second persona evolution so far. Um, very impressed by that evolution. That was very cool. Yeah, I, it was definitely and very interesting um and then I'm, I'm just really curious what they're these these yahoos are trying to accomplish um one would think it would have something to do with the whole prince thing um but perhaps they are also mistaken yeah he did he did use the word chosen which was a little uncomfortable yep uh, Monday the 23rd, we are starting with Moon Rank 8. Oops. 
Uh, yeah, we do have a moon. Let's take a look at this, uh, actually. Persona. Trismegistus. Mm -hmm. All right, a Hellenistic figure who represents a blending of the Greek god Hermes and the Egyptian god Thoth. Interesting. Mm -hmm. His full name, Her Hermes Trismegistus, means Hermes Thrice Greatest. And he is thought to be the author of the Corpus Hermeticum. Oh. Yeah, Corpus Hermeticum is a... I'm not mistaken. Hold on, I'm just going to check this real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a Greek writing about the figures. Uh, Hermes and Trismegistus, or the figure Hermes Tr Trismegistus is, yeah. I find it interesting too that her, that at least at the moment, Junpei has not unlocked a second Theurgy along with his Awakened. He is not, not yet. I mean, I'm sure he will. But. Mm -hmm. All right, a little gourmet king. Hey, hey, buddy. Munch, munch, burp. Oh, Makoto Kun, did you hear me out? My stomach is crying in sorrow. Well, that's not important right now. Feels if we can grow closer. Let's do it. Yes! Wonderful, my gourmet frit. Uh, no. I'm not here to eat today. I'm here to because I wanted to talk to you. Hmm. Hey, I haven't been doing so well lately, you know? And it's all because of your blasphemy. Don't blame Thanks us for your so problems. so hard for your soul that I think I actually lost weight. Look at me! I'm paper thin now! Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> Damn straight! I could down a ham katsu in my sleep if I really wanted to! I get what you're trying to say. You're embarrassed to be seen with me, right? I'm not like my little brother. I'm not smart or athletic, and I have weird stubby legs. And my pants are covered with food stains. Just a thorn in everyone's side. They all wish I could be more like my little brother. All they do is make fun of me. I just want this whole world to disappear. But the world Ooh. can't end yet. Not until I save you first. Look, I can try harder. I just need to make it to paradise. That should solve all my problems. I'll be taller and more slender, and my body will glow. So I'll be safer at night. See? That I won't be inferior to my brother, and you won't hate being seen with me. So please, don't abandon me. I feel a strong connection with Sumitsu. <laughs> I mean, rank up. I can get a word in edgewise. Um. <laughs> I have to go, so I don't have time to eat today. I haven't earned forgiveness just yet. And I have to find a new member to recruit soon. Hello. That was him just now. So can you handle it? Yeah, all I gotta do is rough him up and I get paid. You know, I've got this buddy who's kind of strapped for cash too, if you catch my drift. Fine, you both get paid. Just make sure you finish the job. Huh? Oh, it's you. 132,000 yen, right? That's the same trick he used on my son. If you know what's good for you, I'd stay the hell away from him. I decide to go back to the dorm and not warn him about the impending beatdown he's about to get. <laughs> Not my problem, oh, I guess. Welcome back. Junpei-san exactly. still in his room. It's hard losing someone you're close to. I hope he's okay. Okay. Let's pop over to the lobby PC. And we're going to use the dating site note. <laughs> dating site note. We already used it, I thought. Do we need to go get another one? I don't know if we need to go get another one. I, we did already use it. Um, 
Because we, we use can't them reuse. On y yeah. Yeah. I, uh, go see if you can buy another one. Okay. I guess. Uh, it's weird, because... <laughs> Maybe we have to, like, buy an offering for it or something. Perhaps. Go have a look for yourself. Um... Yeah, we can buy it again. Okay. Oh, I can buy multiple. All right. Probably don't need that many, but yeah, buy like five of them or something, whatever. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how many more times we're going to need it. I guess I could check it out, but yeah. Well, five should be fine for now. Yep. All right. That would have been helpful to know, guide. Thanks a lot. <laughs> We never have problems with guides. Uh, okay, no, so we're going to use not. the dating site note on Girl at the Shrine. Oh. Let me try the prepaid offering pass. Picture anyone. Yeah, all right. We've done this before. She should be down here. There she is. Yep. Praying. Current progress, 3%. Continue focusing while you wait. Give ourselves a little boosty boost. Uh huh. Seems the prayer is done. Having meditated on our relationship, Michael feels more important to me. I feel like the bond I have with Michael has grown stronger. I'd like to ask for another prayer. Please purchase another offering pass. <laughs> there we go. It's gotten late. I should go back to my room. Career Experience Week will take place over the next four days. Oh, right. So we are locked into events for the next four days. Yeah. They went to a nice strip mall. Wild Buck Burger. Wild Duck Burger. Lol. <laughs> Good morning. Everyone who's in the internship program, please follow me to the back entrance. We'll provide you all with uniforms. Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work. I can't wait to flip some burgers. For the next four oh, days, I'll boy. be helping out with cleaning. Oh, if, okay. <laughs> I want to flip burgers. I worked hard to get used to the job. When you're done there, could I ask you to take the trash out? Hi. Okay. Huh? For some reason, Tomochika is in front of the restaurant. Oh, hey, uh, morning. You uh, look good in that uniform. Forgot you chose this place, too. Doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't. Mm, yeah, no choices here matter. All right, what you doing here? Well, you know, just psyching myself up to prepare for the internship. I mean, being on time is like the bare minimum job requirement, right? Guess my prospects are looking pretty grim. I overslept like hell. Uh... Oh, damn it. Oh, I really screwed this one up. Coming in late on my first day, they're going to be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. Man, I really don't want to go in now. What do I do? Let's go together. You'll come apologize with me? Dude, you're the best, man. And yeah. Yeah. Even if you back me up, I can't just tell them I overslept. Wait a minute. Sure you can. I could just pretend I was here all along. Put on a uniform and stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good and I was in the bathroom this whole time. That's a bad idea. So, uh, please do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework. So please. Mm. Lying is wrong. Bye. <laughs> Lying is wrong. Oh, come on, man. You gotta help me. I also don't think we could get Just away with it. Just hop on in there and grab it real quick. If you hide it under your shirt, nobody will... What? Oh, there you are. Working hard. Or hardly working, Seriously? am I right? Seriously? Why do I get stuck <laughs> having to supervise two classes worth of students? I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry. 
I shouldn't be complaining to students. In any it's case, fine. it looks like you two are doing just... Uh... Hey, Tomochika, why are you still dressed like that? Wait Busted. a minute, don't tell me. Well, uh, you see, I may have slightly overslept. Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez. First someone skipping out, and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? What? Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. Talk about a failure of a human being. So, who was it, Mike? <laughs> Don't you grin at me like you found a friend. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... Always call first when you're running late. It's common sense. Mm. Ugh. I'm definitely getting a talking to later. It's you're going to go not. apologize right now. <laughs> Wait, now? I I need to gather my thoughts first and um And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Uh <laughs> Are you even aware of all the trouble you could have caused? You left the team short-staffed. The manager's probably worried. If this were a real job, you'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there and apologize. Uh, not be ready to accept whatever punishment you get. Yes, ma'am. You all right by yourself? Not even in the slightest. <laughs> but I'm the one who got myself into this. If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on you better. And no excuses. Make sure you really mean it. You got that? Makes sense. Well, here I go. See you later. <sighs> Guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. Oh, by the way, have you heard anything from Iori? Hmm, good question. Yeah, I had a feeling he might be the, the skipper. Um... Why? Yeah. Well, if you haven't heard anything, it's fine. But if he's playing hooky, there's gonna be hell to pay. <sighs> he has no idea how much trouble he's causing me. Tell him he'd better at least call out next time. Anyway, I'll be going now. Put on a big smile and show them how much you love working service jobs. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a nah for me, dog. Nah, that ain't me. He might work through the Machika wasn't chewed out too badly, but he worked the rest of his shift in silence. When my first day of internship concluded, I returned to the dorm. Oh, wow. All right. 27th. Do it to a nice strip mall. Wild Buck Burger. Wild Duck. I don't know why I keep saying Wild Buck. Wild Duck Burger. <laughs> wild Buck. I think I'm starting to get the hang of working here. Oh, you should actually pay me. Are. Oh, hey, Ryoji. Is, there, is that like a weird off-brand Batman in the background? That's what it looks like. Hey. Yo. Are you looking pretty good? I would have thought you've been working here for years. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Playing hooky? Oh, <laughs> I'm not looking to get on the wrong end of Ms. Toriyumi's death glare. My internship ended a little early, so I thought I'd stop by. <sighs> Looks like you're doing all right. What's up? Oh. It's nothing, really. If you don't mind, uh, could we talk for a bit when you're done? Hey, manager says to take your break. Wait, what? Mochizuki's here? I see you chose this place, too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so... So mm. what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. Oh, now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika-kun. About what? 
Lay it on me. We got time. <laughs> you, you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, it told me to take a break too. Come on, this is our chance to chill. I don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> you two get along pretty well, huh? I guess I'll go order something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted by the Batman on, in the background with, with six packs. It's also an inflatable or something. Not such a bad person. Yeah, you it's... To know each other. It's just <laughs> kind of intimidating at first. I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice. You know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. It feels like a mixture of what a burger so, and. You wanted to goggles. talk about something? It kind of does. <sighs> well. It's about Junpei Kun. Hmm. Yori? Are you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, but he hasn't been here all week. Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Yeah. Until today, that is. I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Did something happen to him? Oh, yeah. You should ask him. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should have, but I don't know. I couldn't bring myself to do it. It felt like he was suppressing an unbearable sadness. Like he was forcing himself to act normal. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Huh? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? You're that good looking, but you still watch out for your bros? You're too perfect. What are we even supposed <laughs> to do about this guy? <laughs> anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. Thanks for that. Thanks. Thanks. Too. Yeah. I'd probably <laughs> still be moping around if it wasn't for him. So don't worry. I'm sure Iori will bounce back in no time. Yeah. Well, nothing more to do but take him to karaoke sometime. I'll let him know you were worried about him. Thanks, Tomochika-kun. Oh, crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box at the register. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei-kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? Um... Yeah. I'm gonna go with yeah. <laughs> I know I'm the one who asked, but... I feel a little awkward hearing that. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. <laughs> before... But what about now? Oh, uh, sorry. Don't mind me. Seeing Junpei-kun like that had me worried about you as well. But I guess you're doing just fine. It's just... I don't like it. Seeing you... <laughs> seeing my friends in pain. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. See you later. Good luck on the rest of your shift. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Goju left and I got back to work. With the four days of internship done, I headed back to the dorm. Okay. Finally done with this customer service crap. Yup. Oh, welcome back. Junpei sounds still not feeling well. I'm getting a little really worried now. That's after all he's been through, I can understand why he's feeling down. He got really lucky this week though. No one realized he took some days off because everyone was at career experience. Well, I hope he's feeling a bit better now. I, I... I'm going to defeat those Traga guys. I can't take this anymore. Yeah. I know how you feel. But you don't have to do it all by yourself. Yes. I know. <laughs> okay, so we made it to the 27th. We have. Uh, this evening we are doing Tower Rank 10. Oh, baby. Let's this is a very, very important social link to rank up. They all sort of are, but this one's very important. For our in-game goals? Yes. Hey. Mm. 
You got a minute? <laughs> I owe you one. Ah, you never chase, do you? Well, have a seat. Maybe this is what they call divine guidance. The detective called me this morning and said he found my wife and son. Well, that's good. He Maybe. said they're running a small restaurant. Sounds like it's pretty popular among the locals. Oh, cool. My son's married. His wife is pregnant. Sure makes me feel old. I ain't coming back till I earn their forgiveness. So... I'll be out of town for a while. I decided the next time I saw your face would be the day I leave. I'll be going tonight. I'll get down on my knees if I have to. If my son wants to sock me in the face, well, that's fine too. I, I've been thinking about proposing to my wife again. Even though I'm not so good with words, I'm gonna say, I want to recite the sutras with you by my side for the rest of my life. Well, how's that sound? Hmm. It does not matter what you say here. Yeah. Um. It's missing something, I think. I agree. You don't know nothing. She's gonna burst into <laughs> tears when she hears that. No copying it, all right? Okay. Might not mean much coming from a monk who couldn't relinquish thoughts of the family he lost. But I was finally able to face the fact that I was drinking to hide my true feelings. It was an enlightenment of sorts. <laughs> it's all your fault, kid. Lecturing you all those nights. <laughs> Doug reminded me of my son. <laughs> Maybe Buddha sent you to help me. <laughs> I gotta admit, I believe in fate. If I'd not met you, I don't think I'd ever see my family again. I owe you, kid. Matatsu thanked me from the bottom of his heart. I feel like we really understand each other now. I don't even know what to guess here, honestly. I am thou. On the uh, persona? Yeah. The innermost yep. power of the... We now bestow upon the ultimate form of the tower within thyself. Is it a golem? Hmm? <laughs> kind of? Uh. Chi Yu. Chi Yu. So warrior Chi Yu is Chi Yu is pretty important uh, to have for in-game yeah. goals. Take this. Think of it as a goodbye gift. Okay. Reserve tag. When you mix Contro with white rum and lemon juice and shake it, you get a cocktail called X Y Z. Movies and manga often use the initials X Y Z to symbolize the end of something. Huh. But I consider XYZ to be the best of the best. It tastes so good going down. I'll be praying that your future will be XYZ. So long, kid. That's sweet. Interesting. <laughs> In his own way, that was sweet. I held the reserve tag yes. tightly and returned to the dorm. Huh. Finally finished the tower. Yep. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. All right, who got lost this time? <laughs> I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Yeah, tracks. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Bye now. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We are going to need the an Empress persona. We do have one from the last time we did this. Yeah. Lena okay. and Sid. Seed. Yep. Lena and Sheed. Sheed. Yep. Sheed, man. Oh, I think it's uh it might order. be Leon and Sheed, but yeah. I'm I'm reasonably confident about the last name there. 
Hello. Yuki. These have finally settled down a bit. I'll be shifting more responsibilities onto the underclassmen in the student council so that they can gain more experience. And with all that's happened, I'd like to have some time for myself. <laughs> I'll still show up to the meetings, of course. Oh, right. I was just thinking of leaving as well. If it's alright with you, would you care to join me today? Might grow closer. Right. Sure. Greatly appreciated. Thank you. Actually, there was another place I was hoping to stop by today. Interesting. I was just here. So this is what the interior looks like. Okay, so are all of her social links going to be trying out these different quote-unquote lower class foods? I believe so. Oh, man. I imagine that's correct. Maybe not all of them, but I'm, it seems like it's a theme. Yeah, to, trying, her. trying to recognize what the little man's doing or something. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> He's from a wealthy family. It does make sense for her to want to be more aware of what other people are experiencing on the regular. Yep. It's smaller than I expected. Hmm. All right. Option A. Is this your first time? Well, technically, yes. But I did pass by once with Akihiko. So, I understand that you don't eat with utensils here? My lack of knowledge on this subject is a serious problem. I mean, problem. you can, if you're a total barbarian. In all barbarian. honesty, it's a good thing you're here. <laughs> is it actually profitable to sell these items at such low prices? I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. A lot lower oh. than what they sell it for. <laughs> Sorry, I found myself lost in thought again. In truth, I didn't ask you here just to eat. I wanted to express my personal thanks to you. Right now, our strength and conviction are being tested to their limits. We've only made it this far because we've been blessed with each other's partnership. I know I've been asking a lot of you, even more than the others, but I truly appreciate it. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. Mitsuru seems to trust me. I feel like our relationship has grown! Rank up! Rank two! I didn't realize we were talking for so long. And now your fries are like cold. It would be like rude cold. to let the food grow cold. Shall we begin? His fries grow cold, cold in like three minutes. That's true. I ate burgers with Mitsuru and then headed back to the dorm. Didn't eat the fries because they were too cold. I, <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> I think... Do you want to reiterate that? Yeah. Try to keep your chin up, Junpei. Come to class. I know. So what'd you want? This came from the hospital. Is this... Chidori's sketchbook? They found it while they were sorting through her belongings. Ah. Um... <sighs> I know, I gotta snap out of this, but... It's just so hard. It's okay, buddy. Listen, grief doesn't have a timeline, and I know we've said that at least once this playthrough already. Mm hmm. Bears repeating. You should look at it. Yeah. Hey, Junpei, can I take a look? You probably wouldn't understand her drawings anyway. What the? Wow, it's really good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't understand a drawing like this? Huh? What? It's... Yeah. It's a detailed portrait of Junpei-san. Chidori. Stop moping around. Junpei-kun. Okay, I'm gonna fight to get rid of the Dark Hour. I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. I still hate to admit it, but... Just know I'll be counting on you. 
Mm. Please don't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. I right back at you, buddy. There it is. There we go. All right. Massive fire damage to one foe ignores resistances, fully restores users' HP. Oh, that's so, cool. So, Blaze of Life is fantastic for certain scenarios with Junpei. My friends are all smiling with tears in their eyes. I sense a strong bond with them. Cool, rank up. That's right, rank nine. Dang, we're real close Getting to close. Getting ten. Mm hmm. Hmm. All right, hmm. so now it's time to get <laughs> Devil Rank 9. Yeah, we're really cracking down on some of these social links. Uh-huh. It's good, though. We've been needing to. Yeah, these. now that we've got all our skills all ranked up for the social, social skills, uh, we can really hit these social links hard. Yeah, oh, yeah, I always forget that there are some social link, like, levels or... Even beginning, yeah. even beginning them sometimes they're locked behind certain social skills. Being... So, yeah, Empress is that way. You have to have maximum academics to begin Empress. Mm. And that was the last one we leveled up. Good grief. Yep. <laughs> you sure come by a lot, Yuki. I must be doing something right then. Actually, I'm just curious how you can be such a good snake oil salesman. So I, I come to <laughs> observe the wonder. Makes sense. <laughs> But I suppose that means the value of a life lesson depends on the learner. Well, this one will be free of charge. Hmm. Good, good. Excellent. I'll be waiting for... Ah, never mind. You, you, that's not important. The other day, a woman came to my office asking for a donation. Quite the looker, I might add. In fact, she was very much my type. But no matter how attractive she was, I was repulsed by her dedication to charity work. Uh-huh. So you're not going to donate then? <laughs> uh, if I say no, the tabloids are going to tear me to shreds. Why should I have to give my hard-earned money to a bunch of freeloaders? I pulled myself up out of squalor to get where I am today. I wanted to get back at the ones who used to laugh at me. Gonna follow that That's paradox of pulling yourself up by anyway. your bootstraps, are you? But, mm -hmm. tell you the truth, now I have too much money. Profits are booming. I'm so busy, I don't have time to spend a yen of it. It's nice Maybe to have that problem. I should train someone to take my place. I could teach them my business philosophy and management techniques. It'd be a carbon copy of me. It would That's horrifying. probably cost me a fortune. But <laughs> if it works, then it's easy living. <laughs> hmm. How would you feel about being adopted? Only joking. People would get <laughs> funny ideas if I took in a child as old as you. I'm actually what? the seventh uh, Dread Pirate Roberts in a line. Uh, oh, boy. I'm the seventh president, Tanaka. Oh, I agree. <laughs> it's a title passed down. Right, from oh, one pirate no. to the next. I mean, um... President Tanaka looks selfish on the surface, but he seems to care about me deep down. Uh, does he? Are you sure about that? I understand him a little better now. I Do, do you? you? <laughs> oh, boy. Yuki, I don't, I don't know that you and I see the same thing. Donate for the sake of the less fortunate, huh? It's getting late, so I'm gonna go back to the dorm before he makes any weirder suggestions. Speaking of Tanaka, yeah. do we go? Any, got anything on the TV today? We do indeed. It is very important for us to buy the Home Shopping Network. Baby. Baby. Hey, buddy. Are you free? Hello. We are out today off. I want to go out, but I don't know. No. Bye-bye. I just realized I didn't finish my sentence. So, no, we are not buying the Home Shopping Network, but we are going to buy the item from the Home Shopping Network today. Listen. <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen here. Listen, sir. It's That's fair. I'm going to do it. Oh yes, the become a spy set. Yeah. Make your dreams come true and become the hero in every spy novel. Good, good. Movie. First up, we have the shoes of Bane. I said novel, and I don't know why. With these specially <laughs> crafted shoes, you won't make a sound sticking around. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's more. We'll throw in this infrared goggles, too. Guess how many? One. You don't get any more. 39,800 yen. Today and today it's only. It's actually, it's one goggle, not goggles. It's only one. One, one lens. One lens, you get, there you, you go. Get, you get both frames for the for the goggles, but you only get one lens and one on one side. Thanks, kid. Exactly. Next time we'll be introducing a luxury fruit basket set. Don't miss it. That's it for today. We're all sold out. Sorry, folks. Bye-bye. Uh, thanks, kid. <laughs> yeah, thanks, kid. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah. Buy soda. I gotta have my carbonated <laughs> beverages. They are necessary. I pop if you're from the Midwest. Or Coke if you're from the South. South. We, we've, talked, we've talked about this before. Yes. Uh, At great length for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. One of our digressions. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be like, oh, here they go again. I'm talking yeah, about stupid just, sodas. We're gonna have another. 30 minute conversation about what to call carbonated beverages. <laughs> Those four biotic packs are so handy. And the, they're less handy nowadays, but they're still pretty useful. Yeah, the all allies thing makes it really nice. I wish I could buy more of them though. And I, overall, I just wish these drinks would buy better amounts of SP restoration. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way, the Shoes of Bane that we purchased from the Home Shopping Network. Mm -hmm. They null dark insta kills. Oh, so, nice. Mudun, Mudo, Mamudun, uh, die for me. All those do do not affect anybody with, equipped with those. So they're very useful. Ah, nice, very nice. And they are very, very important for a situation later on. Um, today we are doing Sun Rank Eight. In case you weren't depressed enough, we are gonna do some more depressing stuff. But hey, pink alligators. That's right. Hey, buddy. I hope, I hope the little girl is doing okay. Uh, yeah, me too. Ah, <laughs> uh, you. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, it'll pass soon. Right. Buddy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you came. Seems like it's getting Just worse. Give me a minute so I can mm -hmm. calm down. Uh, take as long as you need. The pain comes and goes, but I'll be fine once it passes. It's getting better. Thanks. I stopped taking my medicine. It's not going to cure me anyway, right? It just eases my pain and suffering. Why did you stop? My medicine makes me drowsy, and if my hands go numb, then I can't write. Mm. I have to finish my story. The reason I haven't finished my story is because I haven't found the meaning of my life yet. I'll get absorbed in my writing, erase it, and then lose sight of how to reach the end. When I'm with you, I can almost see it. It's because you've been here for me. It seems like you might have given me a reason to finish. I'm probably writing this book to find my own meaning in life. And if I do find it, if I do finish the story, I hope we have a little more time together after that. Me too. I want to read it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to smile weekly. I think our relationship is stronger now. Yeah, when when I play games like this, or or uh, yeah, yeah, games specifically, because you get invested in that narrative, right? When mm -hmm. there are characters who are artistic in some way, be it writing literature or drawing or something, 
and they're always talking to your character, the main character, being like, yeah, I should show it to you sometime. I'm always so invested because I want to see what the actual work looks like. Yeah, which is agreed. Sun um, is setting. That's it for today. But I hope to see you again. I think it just really speaks to the quality of character creation that they put into those like narratives. Yeah, that you're like definitely so invested that if they were a real person, you'd have been like, "Yes, hand me the book right now. I want to read it." <laughs> oh, welcome back. Oh, hey. Yeah, that. Back. That uh, to give the oh, go ahead. Go uh, ahead. The full moon's almost here. No shadows have appeared yet, but I'm still worried. By the way, oh, that reminds me, Ryo Jakun's here again. He's visiting Junpei. Junpei's still pretty down, so I'm glad he has a good friend like Ryo Jakun. So, going back to the conversation just now, right. um, the most poignant example I can think of of that is, uh, at least for me, is from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Uh, it's a novel called Anslem. Oh, yeah. Um, it is one that I would like to know about. We know very little about it, uh, but it is at least somewhat autobiographical of the character that is writing it. Um, so a lot of themes from their life. Um, and in case our viewers have not seen Deep Space Nine, uh, this is a cool plot point that's touched on in a few episodes. It's not a major plot line, but it is a interesting thing and um there are points where you can get some excerpts from it but um, yeah it is one of those things where it's like i'd love to read that whole thing that would be very interesting yeah i feel like that would be such a cool like fan paraphernalia i guess for star yes. trek specifically to have the book of uh jake's <laughs> jake cisco is the character that we're talking about uh, he's uh, yep, he's the yep. author, um, which doesn't reveal anything about what's happening. Just he's the author of this book, and uh, yeah, I would I would love to see that. That'd be such a cool mm -hmm. thing to have. Uh, anyway, it, what? <laughs> All right, so we are having coffee with Ken this evening. Cool. I wonder if it'll be yeah. okay coffee. I don't know. It'll be Oken's coffee. It <laughs> it could be. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to test some things out. Do you have free time right now? Sure. I'm gonna brew it correctly this time. All right. Okay, I'll get started right away. You got this. I'm using different beans today. I went to a coffee shop and bought some real ones this time. What were you using before? I made sure to store <laughs> them in the fridge, and I only ground them right before brewing. I also Maybe learned you need to be grounds. mindful of oh, how yeah, hot okay. the water is, as well as how you pour it. That is important. How sure are you? <laughs> you did a great job. Mm. Yes, I practiced with the cheaper beans from before since I can't afford too many of the expensive ones. Although it was hard to drink all that coffee, so I added a lot of milk and sugar. <laughs> Boy, I feel you. Well then, let's drink, shall we? Cheers. You must drink it black. I can't. Mm. I can't. <laughs> Still really bitter. So bitter. But it's not only that. I could actually taste some of the sweetness and richness this time. Mm. The beans and brewing technique can make a huge difference, huh? Oh, and the smell was great, too. I'm feeling a little nostalgic, actually. I got some okay coffee. You did Thanks indeed. You can go on ahead. I'm going to practice a little more to try and get the hang of this. Let's make some more if we ever get the chance. Yeah, it's... Oh. Uh, first, I got to use the bathroom. I drank a lot while I was practicing today. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so, uh, with regards to coffee, I used to be a pretty big so, coffee snob. In this section... Um, and there are, I think there are merits to having, you know, creamer in your coffee. I tend to not add sugar at all, but I really like bitter tastes. But really, it's however you like it, honestly. Like, I, I've just come to appreciate some of the blends uh, of coffee as well as the bitter taste. But if you like cream and sugar, no shade towards you. Have Take it how you want it, you know? Right. I don't actually <laughs> add sugar. I just use a creamer. Like, a liquid creamer is usually sufficient for me. 
Um, yeah. In fact, what my wife and I do is we'll do a liquid creamer and some heavy whipping cream, and we'll put those together, mm -hmm. and then we'll use like the little like uh, milk frother mixer to get it all mm -hmm. nice and frothy, and then we'll put the, the coffee in that. Um, Add some espresso, and you have a latte there. Yes. Well, we actually have the espresso maker too, so we've done that on that end too. Yeah, um, th those are great. I love a good latte or a cappuccino. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but also, interestingly, you uh, you probably know this, um, but genetically, some people are actually wired to taste bitter stronger than others. So mm, yeah. Um, so like the. Uh, I, I don't remember what the actual word is, like the tepids or something in coffee and tea has this too, right? Like some people genetically find that taste way more bitter than other than others might. And so someone who likes to drink their coffee black may actually not have that bitter sense with that specific type of like, the, again, I can't remember the name, but tannins. tannins yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And so, like, you, for instance, might not react to tannins the same way that I do. And so, possibly, it's, you yeah. know, it's possible that I have a more, a higher sensitivity to tannins. So, I have to have something to kill that bitterness to make it palatable. Yeah, that gets into how can I understand what your experience is? And I'm not aware of a way of objectively measuring taste buds, but yeah, I mean, you are right. There are variations. It's just, how do we experience those and all that fun stuff? Oh yeah. But, I mean, like I'm not saying there's yeah. like, a way for it's, us to do it specifically. But. Yeah. 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 It's very similar to the way, um, okay. Now I'm not remembering a word, but with spicy foods yes. where some, some people are far less affected by, uh, I'd, Hold on. Scoville's. Scoville's, uh, Scoville's is, is a measurement. Yeah, yeah, it's not that exactly what it is, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know. it's, it's what's in the peppers that make them hot. Yeah, I understand what you're yeah, talking yeah. about. Yep. I don't remember yep. the word for that um, either. Yeah, I'll, it'll come to me later. I'll just be like, this word. Um, right. But, but yeah, with regards to creamer, um, it also changes the viscosity and texture. Sure. Uh, which is a big deal to some people, for sure. Right. Um, also... The only other comment I wanted to make is no game has made me want coffee like Persona 5. Oh my gosh, not yes. even not even our uh, coffee talk game made me want coffee as much as Persona 5 did. Okay, but the way <laughs> okay. In in your defense, my defense maybe too, because I'm in the same boat. Mm -hmm. when, <laughs> when he talked about the different blends of coffee in that shop as he's teaching you how to do it. There's so much detail, and you're just like, oh, that sounds mm -hmm. amazing right now. Yep. Like he's, it's really detailed and cozy, and there's like really chill music play. It's amazing. Right. Like, I, those are the days where I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe I can try just straight black coffee if it's mixed like this. <laughs> because I want to appreciate those undertones. Mm hmm. Uh, but I, I just have a hard time drinking black coffee in general. But, but I, Yep. I mean, you know, my palate's been shifting slightly too with all our tea time stuff too. So who knows? Maybe one day mm -hmm. I will appreciate the finer things in life. I will make you a blend at some point <laughs> that you will enjoy. I promise. I'm sure you will. <laughs> all right. Oh, what a sublime heroine Murasaki no Hue is. She was written to be the ideal woman of the Heian period, the quintessential Heian beauty. Do you understand? Speaking of Murasaki no Hue, here's a question for you, Yuki. Don't ask me questions. The tale of Genji Murasaki Noe is portrayed as a woman of the highest class in terms of appearance, intelligence, and character. In the poem that Genji, the protagonist, sends to her, what did he compare her to? A hyd the cherry blossom. Oh, okay. I was going to guess a hydrangea, but cherry blossom makes mm. sense too. Well, the answer was pretty obvious. Mm, I suppose it was an easy question. Obviously not. I was going to get it wrong. <laughs> it means that the image of you as beautiful as the wild cherry blossom will never leave my mind. How refined. Compared to them, you guys are nothing but... Excuse me. But, but what? <laughs> Finish your sentence. You want to go? Come at us. <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you fool. You, me, <laughs> outside, five minutes. <laughs> my fist, your face, outside, ten minutes. Ow. Okay, so this afternoon we are doing Priestess rank 8. Oh, we haven't done Priestess in a hot minute. Do we have a Persona? Please. 
is probably not. We do not. We, yep, we do not. Um, it's okay. We go do that. We go fix that right now. Yeah, so we'll need to dismiss one first. Yep. Um, we don't need throne anymore. What do I have on throne? Or tower, I mean. Tower, yes, uh, you have Bisha Mountain. Let's see here. I don't think I'm using him for anything in particular. Let me take a look. Ah. He's not bad. No, he's not. <laughs> I mean, a lot of these aren't going to be bad, though. Like, Yeah, yeah. We can all... always resummon if we have enough money, which we should. Yeah. Um, ooh, Null Dark's going to be really good on Daisojo. Uh, yeah, let so me we'll see. What do we just rank nine here? We just rank nine devil, which doesn't matter. I don't know. We can compare the ranks if you want. Um, Magician's rank nine too. That is true. This is probably the one most likely to be replaced by something else. But that evade ice is okay. nice. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you could just toss Lena and Sheed. Uh, but we're probably gonna have to summon her back at some point. Mm. That's the problem I am, I'm having with that. Um, go back to your list real quick. Actually, throne huh? throne might be worth throne uh, tossing too. Um, okay. Just because we've completed justice. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because we will need star again. We won't need yeah. justice. We won't need strength. But we want to keep Siegfried. Yeah, uh, we we won't need magician. Yeah, I'd say between wrong there throne, toss the one you want. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And we'll grab priestess. We're getting close to the end of priestess, so this is gonna not be a problem anymore. Uh, pretty soon here. Yeah. Soon. Marvelous. I can sense the power has grown. I'm looking All right. Up. How may I assist? I can sense you? the power. Blah 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 blah. I mean, they do say the same thing every time. Yep. All right. Registration. Okay. Cool. Uh, summon. This is your progress so far. Cool. Magician. Still have sixty-nine percent. Priestess. Apsaris. Perfect. Let's acceptable? go. Very well. It's yours. The best. Uh huh. Hmm. Around. Okay. Got some oh, new ones in here. Marathonatos Lucifer. Yeah. Thanatos. Check out Thanatos. No, That's I can't right. yet. Oh, can we haven't made Alice can, yet. We have to make Alice. In the hold on, movie. hold on. You can persona stats with X. I know. Oh, oh, that's true. Oh yeah, we did look yeah, at this yeah, a little yeah. bit, didn't we? Yeah, and then check out Lucifer as well. Did we look at Lucifer? Yet? I think so. Yeah. Lucifer. Is so that good. one's. Those. Those. Those resistances are. Should I say absorptions are ridiculous? Yep. Two absorbs and a repel. Also learns three of four. Um, Severe elemental spells. Yeah, Inferno so being your I'd... first one is just mm -hmm. brutal. Yep, le learns Inferno, um, Diamond Dust, and Panta Ray. So all but Thunder Rain of those four. That one's really strong too. Wow, I didn't look at the uh, resistance there. Mara. Mara. Oh my oh, god. Oh, I know what Mara is. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Alice is really good. Um, it wait. is a yeah. special I, could, I cannot make Norn yet. Okay. Is it no, you can't. Not yet. Yep. Okay. Very Norn is weird looking, but but kind of cool. Yep. We look. All right. We've got our priestess. Excellent. Mm. All right. Uh, Only got two days before the next full moon. Actually, let's see if I can do it this way. It might be faster. Here we go. Yeah, that means Uka we got to do it to, tonight or tomorrow, basically. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with it soon. So I'm assuming we got to do the tower before the full moon. Oh, hi. Oh, are you heading home? Would you happen to be free today? I was hoping you could join me for something. Let's go. Uh -huh. Thank you. I hope no one's sitting at our usual spot. I made another bento. So, I tried putting my thoughts in order. I was so hmm. confused last time. I couldn't find the right words. 
I've said before, but I have a bad habit of thinking negatively. Like, when I have a difficult time deciding on something. But no one knows what the future holds. No matter how much you prepare, you can never really be sure what'll happen. So in situations like that, I think the most important thing you can do is believe. You have to think positively and trust that the future will smile upon you. The thing is, I'm not sure I can do that. I don't understand how it comes so naturally to everyone else. How are you able to tell yourself that things will work out in the end? Hmm. I believe in myself. <laughs> it's just my personality. Oh, I see. You really are strong. I think I really admire that part of you. So, um, the reason I've been relying on you isn't just because you're our leader. It's because you're you. Because I'm awesome. It needs to be <laughs> you. I understand Fuka's heartfelt words. I seem to think I... It, bleh, it seems we grow closer. I, oh. I seem something else entirely. You seem confused. Uh, yes. <laughs> Perhaps I am. You know, sometimes I think to myself, once I learn how to cook and I've paid you back for your help, will that be the end of us spending time together like this? No, not at all. Um, yep, I mean, no, of course not. Thank no. You. But I'm sure there are lots of other people who depend on you, right? I can't get in the way of that. Listen. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound so depressed. You're not oh, a burden. Look at the time. We should start heading back. Hey, uh, do you mind if we'd make a small detour? I want to buy some ingredients. I think I'll tackle making Korochan's dinner today. Shopping with Fuka, then headed home. Oh, welcome back. Hello. You're late. Ryoji-kun was just leaving. That seems oh, to keep happening. Hey there. Chilly out, huh? Hope you don't go catching a cold. You know, I stop by here pretty often. Weird we never see each other. Well, I'm <laughs> out of here. See you later. Later, Yoji. Is it because you guys are actually the same person? <laughs> was that Ryoji san? Yeah, he said he was going home. Why was he here? To see Junpei. They've been hanging out a lot ever since the school trip. But the rules state that visitors aren't allowed here. Yeah, but Kirijo Senpai said it's cool as long as no one stays late. I don't think we have anything to worry about. He is dangerous. Dangerous? Ryoji-kun? Come to think of it, he did hit on Mitsuru-senpai the first time he met her. <laughs> but having him around has really helped cheer you up, Junpei-kun. Well, no point in dwelling on the past, right? Won't change a damn thing. That's true. Hmm? What's up, Aichan? I'm fine. It's just... I envy you, Junpei. I'm a machine, hmm. so I don't understand what it feels like to live. Really? But well, you don't seem that different. In my case, it's more accurate to say that I'm operational as opposed to alive. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. Well, if we were all like you, then we never have to worry about dying. Oh, crap! Uh, I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a mountain of homework. Serves me right for slacking. Well, no use whining. Junpei studying on purpose? I guess hell finally froze over. Well, better call it a night then. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> the gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. That's an interesting perspective. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Leader, the thought of something happening to you, it makes me... 
Don't, hmm. don't worry about me. Understood. You are very special to me. I can't explain why, but I never want to leave your side. I want to protect you at all costs, to be there for you always. Uh, I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return to my room as well. Good night. Hmm. Yoji Mochizuki. He is dangerous. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I wonder if he's tied to... I can't to... die, so no one will have to grieve for me. I have to do something. Hmm. I don't want to see them suffer anymore. Hmm. I wonder if Ryoji is connected to the events of 10 years ago. Could be. Um, I still am of the opinion he's very connected to Ferris. Oh, yeah, me too, but that those um, aren't necessarily mutually exclusive. So the reason I say that even more so now, um, it's hard to explain, but the way that conversation went made me think that Ryoji came up the instant death came up when Junpei was talking and then suddenly it was like, oh, I gotta go do my homework. Uh, just right. the way it happened and then I guess it was immediately, immediately like he was, he is dangerous and stuff, you know, like just... Yeah. And, and I'm probably butchering like uh, the flow of that conversation. I don't think it went exactly like that, but just the way it, it struck me as odd, so... Well, and he... Um, he proved to be remarkably intuitive of Junpei mm -hmm. who had just experienced that's it. that's it that's what it was yeah what you're saying keep going yeah because <laughs> like because he was talking with Yuki and um Kenji right and he was like hey is, yes. is Junpei okay does something happen like yes whether whether exactly. he realizes it or not he intuited that Junpei had suffered a loss mm-hmm and it was so much more than just hey he's depressed like he was like it's like he, like he says the words along the lines of it's like he lost something you know or right. or something like there's there's a clear distinctive impression that he picked up on right so yeah right yeah no i still think he's tied into death and pharos and probably the prince that uh the chair the, prince. the chairman spoke of yeah yeah that it seems accurate um, and I imagine uh, Takaya believes he is and is not because he's a fool. Um, you fool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, all that said, uh, we are going to do the lobby PC this evening. Before that, we have reached the end of the month. Let's check our social links real quick and do a roundup. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Fool 9, Magician 9, Priestess 8, Empress 2, Emperor Max, Hierophant 8, Lovers 8, Chariot Max, Justice Max, Hermit Max, Fortune 6, Strength Max, Hanged 7, Death Max, Temperance 9, Devil 9, Tower Max, Star 3, Moon eight, sun eight. Okay, all right. We are only missing two links, and we are where we need to be with all of these ranks. Uh, we are missing uh, Arcana number twenty and twenty-one. Um, so, and we'll get to those for sure. Yep. All right. So our status parameters don't need checking anymore because they're all maxed out. And Elizabeth requests were on track, so we are good to go. All righty. Um, oh, we should have two missing persons right now. Yes. They're probably question marks if we haven't looked at the board. Yeah, you want us to go look at the board? To... Nah. Okay. I don't think it matters right. right now. All right, all right. Um, so. And if anybody yeah. was keeping track of the achievements, because you don't see those as much, but we have been keeping track of those as well. We are mm -hmm. on pace for all of them except for one right now, and that is the romance option, but that will be taken care of soon. Yes, yeah, the, the guide we're using assumes that you start romance with every single possible option. I'm not sure why you would do that, uh, but we are going 
to be choosing one particular uh, romance option uh, per your wishes in the polls, and uh, we'll be pursuing that route. Yep. All right. Let's go. What are we doing here? We are doing part-time master. Oh, good. Learning how to pick up some extra money. Mm -hmm. Looks like it teaches skills in customer service, accounting, and product stocking. Improve your skill set. Start with a promotion and end up a billionaire. This must be may have written by Tanaka. <laughs> a series of easy to understand instructions begins to play. I finish learning about a number of workplace skills. I feel like I can apply this knowledge to my part time work. The amount of money you can earn from part time jobs has increased. It's gotten late. I should head back to my room. All right. Welcome to December. <sighs> Hello, it's me. Sorry for calling so late. Now then, about the new arrival from the other day, I'd like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. I'm... If we find any distinctive features, we may be able to locate her family. What? Also, Chidori. I can't oh, help yes. but think that the Kirijo group is connected to Strega in some way. Considering this, I think it would be disrespectful to sweep her death under the rug. And of course, I'll take full responsibility what? What did you just say? <laughs> Transmogrified. The body? <sighs> That's not good. But judging by the post-mortem, we, we were certain she was... <sighs> All right. I'm sorry, but please keep this strictly confidential until we know more. If there are any other changes... Yes, absolutely. Right then. What is going on? <sighs> I guess question. we'll just have to wait and see what happens for now. Yeah, Mitsuru is playing 4D chess at the moment. Somehow she knows things that I think the rest of us don't know. Not much, but a little bit. Well, yeah, I'm sure she was. I think if she didn't know about it before her father's death, she probably almost certainly does now after the fact because of her taking over as that as that role. Um. Oh yeah, I got a message from Yoji. He looked like he wasn't at school today. Maybe something urgent came up. I want to see you. Please come to the music room. Sorry for the short notice, but I need to see you right now. Aw. Uh. Yeah, we have no choice but to go see Ryoji okay. uh, for linked episode number four here. Um, but yeah, she her thought that Strega is linked to the Kurijo group is, I think, a good one. I don't think I had had that thought before but it is it does raise questions how are they able to operate how they are um how do they know the things they know etc okay well we we've talked about before how um Jin and yes. uh, Takaya were possibly part of the experimentation during yes. the shadow stuff which is all tied into the yes. Kirijo group so yes, indeed uh, so unless they are still tied into the Kirijo group in some yeah, way, yeah, that's that that's what I mean. Okay. I think they are currently tied into the Kirijo group somehow. At least that's how I took what she just said, and it just made a lot of sense to me given that. But yeah, certainly in their history, um, they are one might call them victims of the Kirijo group. Yeah, but perhaps there's somebody else still operating within the Kirijo group that's making taking advantage of them in some mm -hmm. way. Which I think so. Honestly, that would also make sense given the chairman's act actions. Mm -hmm. Um, because I doubt he was operating alone as well. No, yeah, I absolutely I agree with that. Um, it's also it also is a curious thing. What did Chidori's body transmogrify into? Yeah, the, the fact that it transmogrified at all is mm -hmm. very curious. It certainly is. And she said we were certain the body something. So was dead. Right. So did it transform Which into means, a shadow? Yes. Yeah. I mean it could be that. It could be that it animated in some other way. We're gonna have to find out. Right. Well, and so I guess this will beg the question too, is that are these shadows created through the people who were forced to take a persona? 
rather than having one naturally. In, in addition, remember Medea, her persona, fused with Hermes. Right. So if her body transmogrified in some way because the persona left her body or something, you know, it, her spirit, I, I'm not sure. She became unlinked to her persona or perhaps there was a fusion of sorts because right. persona can be taken to be souls. They're not always the soul of the person that uses them, however. And that's, there are a few reasons I say that that we can't get into right, right now. Right, of course, of course. Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> The music room is quiet. That reminds me, Ryoji said he wanted to meet me to come to the music room. Should I spend some time after school with Ryoji? Yeah. Let's do it. Hey, thanks for coming. What happened? Well, how do I put this? I suddenly just got this feeling that I'm running out of time, and I felt like I had to see you. I had to talk to you. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not even sure what I wanted to say to you. So, I guess for today, I'd like to say thanks. Thanks. It hasn't been that long since we met. I feel like I've learned so much by spending time with you. I just really wanted to thank you for that. You showed me around the school and the city. I got to hang out with you and the others. I even got to go on a trip with you. That was a lot of fun. It's been a joy to experience and learn new things every day. like this. Huh. When did you learn that? He seems more proficient with it than he was before. He does. I guess I wanted you to hear this song. When I saw those couples in Kyoto, or when I visited you guys at the dorm, I realized that's what it really means to build a connection with someone. It's that feeling of overcoming something together and keeping each other going. Both sides need to come to an understanding. That's how connections are built, right? I want you to know that you're important to me. I know I said I wanted us to be friends, but... I actually want to be something more. What about you? Why are you bringing this up? I don't really get it myself, but I... Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Hello. Sorry, I hope I didn't interrupt. I was just passing through the hall, and I heard someone playing a beautiful song on the piano. So I thought I'd stop by to watch the performance. Who was the one playing? Was it you? Ryoji was just... Oh, I wanted to ask... It might have just been my imagination, but I thought I sensed Ryoji-kun's presence in this room. Were you not with him? Hmm? Interesting. What is happening? Yeah, there's... There is some craziness afoot right now. The melody Ryoji played on the piano remained fresh in my mind. Mm-hmm. Aww. All right, delivery. The shoes of Bane and the infrared goggles. Welcome One back. infrared goggles. Hey, hey, Dan, guess what? Hmm. Sup, dude? <laughs> Tomorrow's a full moon. <laughs> Not like that means anything anymore, though. Yeah, there's nothing to do. I'm so bored. Well, maybe I'll go hang out with Ryoji. I didn't, Good luck. I didn't see him at school today, but he was probably just ditching, so he should be around. Oh. Oh wait, crap, I don't know where he lives. 
in the ether. All right, so we have made it to December 1st. So we are doing the dark hour this evening. All righty. So go ahead and do any fortunes you want, um, and we can perform any preparations of specific persona that we need uh, once we get in there, but. I don't think we really need to do anything with persona just yet. Um, yeah, I think we're okay right now. All right. I uh, want to know my fortune. <laughs> what kind of fortune do you seek? Did, oh, did we ever explain the um, the temperance giving a boost to certain things we were doing after? No, no. <laughs> we should explain that now. Yeah. yeah. I just I just thought yeah, about so it while we were doing the fortune stuff. Right, we were confused before when it said Temperance does things. That's the Temperance Major Arcana card you can get during shuffle time. Yeah. It causes, I believe, boosts to social link accumulation um, for some time after after the dark hour, uh, after a Tartarus run. Uh, that's correct, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yes, yep. the temporary... Yeah, basically for a set amount of days, I guess, after the fact. Um, mm hmm it will give you a, a small boost to any social link interaction or skill that you're not any, yeah. but there's a chance that it would influence the outcome. So we got that a couple of times and we're, you know, completely forgot that we took that card. And <laughs> right. that's, that's what it did. And it was just like, oh, what does this do? I, I yeah. don't that's what that does, yeah, guys. Which is why <laughs> it didn't say anything about having the temperance persona on when we went to go do those right. things after the fact. So, Right, exactly. All right, we're going to chance our, our increase our chance of rare shadows because I want the monies. Go ahead and take a look at the board here, and then we'll go ahead and Tartarus run. Yep. Um, Two missing persons. Yeah. All right. Supposed to pick up her son on eleven twenty eighth, but only her car was found on a vacation with a friend. Disappeared from hotel on eleven twenty seven. Okay. All right. Back to the dorm. I think uh, we'll enter Tartarus, and then next episode we'll start our latest run. Yeah, and we'll be a little more prepared for uh, investigating. So, yeah, yeah, I think we wanted to talk about some of the high-level personas now that we've gotten a few of them. Uh, um, yep, relationship of the personas or and, and why we think that they're fitting for the character that they're associated with. I think was yep, one as well as the arcana yeah. associated and yep. then and breakdown of the actual arcana and how they're associated with the social links yep that's it yes we'll be talking about that um yeah go ahead and enter tartarus here um dark hour Listen, if Dark Hour is real, I wish it would make it feel like I actually got that extra hour of sleep. <laughs> the Hanged Man Tarot is reacting. It can now be added to the shuffle time. Uh, obtain one instance card, which increases a persona stat. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's nice. All right, so we're back in Tartarus. Uh, we'll be kind of poking around, choosing a party, probably off screen before we get started, and we'll go over kind of our choices there, as well as anything we changed. Uh, our objective for this Tartarus dive is, of course, um, both of the missing persons, as well as to obtain the next old document on floor 198. All right. And we'll have a couple of other cool developments mechanically here with regards to fusions and things like that as we ascend several more floors here. Yep. And we'll have to figure out what our actual level that we want to be at by the time we're done with all this should be, too. But we should be yes. making some good progress towards some unique fusions by the time we're done, I think, with this block. Yeah, uh, we're definitely getting up there. Um, we're verging on some really, really powerful... Uh, persona. I believe the lowest level, rank 10, is... Mm, I'm probably going to have to find that out later, but I believe it's in the 70s. Yeah, that um, makes sense. So, we're yeah, I think Hierophant might be the lowest one. Koryu, mm. level 71. Um, and that one's really cool. So, yeah, we're going to be starting to get into that, because I imagine we're going to get quite a few levels from this, this run. Uh, 
And we're, of course, uh, going to try to be at least level 91 by the end of the game. So, you know, 30 levels to go. I imagine at least the main character is going to be 99 before we're done here. In fact, I'm certain of it because I think we're going to need it. Just um, by the nature of what we're trying to do, if nothing else. Yep. Yep, absolutely. So, if, but yeah, I mean, for right now, this run, I think we're going to make some cool yeah. progress. So if RNG is in our favor, then it might be 90-something, but it, it's almost certainly 99. Yeah, well, I mean, at least the main character right. to 99. I think everybody else, uh, there are levels we need to get them to to learn all of their persona skills, and so we are definitely going to do that, but right. Um, I don't know that it's 100% necessary. Uh, another interesting thing that's coming up is going to be that we will soon have the capability of fighting the Reaper. Um, so we will see what the earliest is we can do that, because uh, that is a request uh, and it's an achievement slash trophy in this game. So yep. um, that's going to be good. He would have wiped the floor with us until probably a little bit longer from now. Um, but yeah. Yeah, other than that, you know, obviously we're going to get a little more information from the next little document and, you know, general cool stuff as well as we're going to have some cool content for you next time. So please stay tuned. Uh, please tune in next time. We're going to have some cool discussion for you. Yeah. And uh, just as always, thank you so much for being here with us today. We are glad to have you. If you've been enjoying what you've been watching and are looking forward to more content, then please like, subscribe. Tell your friends, hit the notification bell, all that stuff it really helps us. Not just algorithmically, but also to help to continue the channel to grow so that we can continue to put out content. So please do us a big, big favor. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Um, additionally, leave a comment. We love engaging with you guys. If there's something you want to know more about, especially as we're digging into more stuff the next episode, um, if there's a particular topic of interest that you want to hear uh, us discuss or um, you know any questions related to the game or anything not related to the game it doesn't really matter we just want to engage with you have have a good conversation um, so please feel free to do that also if you are just like I don't want to wait to the next episode I want to watch more stuff now because these guys are awesome <laughs> first of all thank you so much uh, second of all we do have plenty of other playlists that are completed from our previous main series games we've also got our tea time videos we've got our co-op videos we've got um you know our friday series our casual games i guess you know going through yeah. uh, for example we got liza p and salt and sanctuary and we got mika and the witch's mountain going on and um you know we'll be we'll be wrapping those up soon and going on to some new ones which and per our discussion earlier a lot of similar things are happening in the ones we're playing now which are Liza P Mika and Persona 3 Reload right. um, not not a huge amount but enough to where it's like this is kind of spooky so right. check those out if you're curious absolutely and they're <laughs> overlapping also with our previous playthrough of Xenogears very not true. in the same degree but there's still like some some minor things that are overlapping so it's just kind of all bled together this year um, yeah yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. In addition, if you are a Xeno fan, I believe we're going to be returning to that series very, very soon here. Uh, we'll be a little more definitive about that as we move toward the end of Persona 3 Reload and make our plan for what we want to do. Um, but it is definitely very, very on the table. We've seen your engagement with Xeno Gears. Yep. We want to keep that going. Um, we do want to do some other things. Uh, Megaton is a big interest of mine, but I also love Xeno. So, right. yeah. Feel free to weigh in if you want to see more. Um, you know, my current idea is Nocturne and uh, Shin Megami Tensei Five Vengeance. Uh, big fan of Digital Devil Saga, but if there's an entirely different one you want to see, or you want to see another Persona game. Uh, tell us. Yeah. Give us a comment. Uh, we appreciate your suggestions. Uh, definitely come at us with it. We will definitely take it into consideration. Yep, absolutely. And. Um... I can say definitively that that Zeno Saga episode one will be coming sometime in the year of 2025. I just don't have an exact month or date yet, but don't worry. Yep. If you keep an eye on the community channel. You will, you will see those announcements coming up when they, when they are, and we'll, we'll let you know. Yep. So 
yeah, absolutely. We, we will be announcing it. But yeah, for those of you that are still listening and you're interested in more Xeno content, episode one will be coming. I will be driving it uh, and I will be driving you crazy with it. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, but, be prepared for uh, several more Austin questions where he's like, but wait, and then, but why? <laughs> and then we'll but just have why? a good conversation and have fun with it. So. Yeah, we, we are going to be um, taking the same care with it, just just because I made that silly comment. We are going to be taking the same care with the lore of that as we did with Xenogears, and we are hopefully doing with this game. With this one, we're a little lighter because neither of us have played this story before, but it's been very interesting. Yes. Um, Xenosaga is about as complicated as Xenogears uh, in some ways, and so we are going to be doing a deep dive as we play it, and it's going to be great. Yeah. So hope you're looking forward to that. In the meantime, I don't know I am, but in the meantime, thank you so much for letting us be a part of your day. And we do hope that it is just the best day ever. And uh, we'll see you around. We'll see you in the next video. See you next time. Bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.